In August, the International 2019 TI9 was held in Shanghai, marking the first time the event has been held on Chinese soil. With the highest amount of prize money in the esports world, TI, or the annual Dota 2 World Championship esports tournament, is the world's most famous esports event. Chinese esports fans were wild with joy, and tickets were hard to get. The 26,000 tickets for the event were sold out online within 53 seconds. Fans who could not get tickets flocked onto live streaming platforms to watch the games. According to the statistics from the Chinese streaming site Douyu, during the TI9 event, the total number of online viewers reached an astonishing 29 million. If you know nothing about esports, you can't understand the meaning behind these numbers. In China, esports has become more and more popular among young people. Esports in China has become an industry in its own right, with a clear business model to power its growth. So why is esports booming in China? First of all, what attracts the attention of young people most are the high prizes. Take the latest TI9 as an example, which had a record high of 34.3 million US dollars in prizes. Chinese team PSD LGD came in the third and won a prize of 3 million USD. On the top 100 highest esports earners list, Chinese Dota 2 player Lu Yao, ID Somnus M, ranks the first in China and 15th in the world, with total prize earnings of 2.9 million US dollars, followed by his teammates. In addition to the prize money, the players also have sponsorship revenue, streaming revenue, and basic salaries. Salaries are quite different among players, with huge gaps among star players, second string players, and youth training players. Top level players can earn $140,000 or more a year. Around 86% of esports players are paid one to three times the local average salary. The income level of esports players is unimaginable for most young men in their early 20s. Playing games professionally can earn you a lot of money. Therefore, the esports industry is extremely appealing to the Chinese youth. Nowadays, China has become the most influential and promising esports market in the world. In 2010, the country's esports industry was worth only $600 million, while the number will exceed $14 billion in 2019, growing 22 times in the past nine years. If you were an esports fan, you might not have heard of Chinese teams a few years ago. However, if you like to play Dota, League of Legends, PUBG or Overwatch, then you may have heard of the names of the following Chinese teams. LGD, RNG, IG. There was no esports industry in China until the end of the 20th century. How has it developed at such an amazing pace? A decade ago, Chinese parents saw video games as a toxic addiction and children who played them were on the way to ruin their future. That changed when Chinese millennials who grew up during the rapid development of the Chinese economy became a strong user base for China's eSport industry. They are more willing to spend money on games, events and game related products. The fan economy behind eSports has quietly risen. At the same time, young Chinese people have become more open and diverse. They idolize their favorite players and cheer for them at gaming events, similar to what fans at pop concerts do. Besides watching on site, more people choose to watch live streaming online. The live streaming of esports events has also boomed in China. From 2014 to 2017, in just four years, the size of China's game live streaming industry soared from $38 million to $400 million and is still going strong. In 2019, the game live streaming revenue would exceed $1 billion. In 2003, Esports became China's 99th official sport, becoming part of the national sports strategy. In 2013, the 17-member esports national team went to the Asian Indoor Games, which was the first time that an esports team has represented China. In 2016, 
Esports became a university major. On November 3rd, 2018, after the Chinese team IG won the League of Legends 2018 World Championship S8, it triggered a national celebration. This is China's esports. Although it started late, it has been catching up rapidly. Nowadays, esports is developing as an emerging industry in China. Players earn a lot of money, and fans are more willing and have more money to splurge on their hobby. Traditional advertisers are also turning their attention to the esports industry. A new era of esports consumption is coming. Will you join in?